Today's video is going to be about one of the most important aspects of crystal work. And this is an issue that I think a lot of people, when they purchase a Vogel crystal, they're super excited about the idea of it and the story and they resonate with the history and the lineage. But then when they go home, they have trouble kind of getting back into what I call the zone or the flow, where things feel effortless and magical every single day. So today we're going to share with you the absolute number one tip for creating results in your crystal practice. I don't know about you, but I am a very practical, pragmatic person. And no matter what tool I buy, whether it's a, a car, a wrench, a, an article of clothing, or some food at the store, I want to use it and get results in my life that are grounded and pragmatic. So for me, that also applies to crystals. And I think that a lot of us, when we first buy a Vogel crystal, we bring one of these amazing pieces into our lives from a sacred lineage. We feel the amazing potential. We're kind of like a kid in a candy store, you know? Remember when you were a kid and you got a, a Christmas toy or a birthday present and you couldn't wait to go in your room and play with it and all, the, all of the places that you would go in your mind and in your imagination with this new tool. I think that we have that experience when we purchase one of these and we bring them into our lives. Uh, but the, there's a common snag that comes up for people that prevents them from going to that next level. And this is something that's very, very common. And a lot of people, they're about to get there and then they just kind of give up. So this video is actually going to be about how to get pragmatic, practical results in your life with your Vogel Crystal. So let me first illustrate to you what happens if you are a person that has a Vogel Crystal in your life or maybe you're about to get one but you're kind of thinking, is this really going to help me? All right. So usually what happens is, people are drawn to these crystals. They, they already have sort of a feeling or a gut instinct that one of these is just um, incredibly meaningful and attractive to them. So they, they purchase one and they bring them into their life and they're very, very super excited and just titillated by the idea of having this sacred geometry tool with so much wonderful history on it. And then they, they get it and then they get home and life happens. They have to go back to their desk job. They are struggling with health issues. They're struggling with money or finances. They get in a fight with their spouse or their child. And suddenly, they get back into the old being, the old flow. And the crystal sort of takes, gets on the back burner and, uh, and they just go back into default. So this is the, the, the primary issue. And what happens is people start doubting themselves. And maybe you're one of them. You know, you start doubting your ability and you think to yourself, well, maybe I need to go to a seminar or a workshop. Uh, maybe I need a teacher to tell me exactly what to do with the crystal and how to meditate with it and, and what's good and what's bad. And we start doubting our innate ability to find that intimate spiritual union with nature and with the crystal. And this is the most common scene of events, basically, is you get back into life and then you start doubting yourself because you're out of that zone, you're out of that place of inspiration, and the crystal no longer has as much power for you. All right, so here is the absolute amazing secret to having success with your Vogel crystal. The only difference between somebody who is getting massive, amazing results and somebody who isn't, it's all about habitual ritual. So when you think of the word ritual, it doesn't have to mean a bunch of bells and whistles, okay? You don't have to get a bunch of friends over and, you know, make a medicine, you know, wheel and, and drum or go to an ashram, um, you know, every single day. Ritual is something that's very personal, very individual, and incredibly, incredibly simple. So here are my tips for how to incorporate ritual into your life. But before I get there, let me just tell you why ritual is so important. With ritual, what you're doing is you are making a intention to come into that place within yourself where you're uniting with the sacred energy of nature, which is the crystal. So every single day, no matter what's going on in your life, and no matter how real the physical world seems, or your problems may seem, you're making a commitment to believe otherwise. Alright, so are you ready for these two simple steps? Now they might be so simple that you're going to want to throw your computer out the window. But I absolutely assure you, they work. Alright, so number one 
is a morning ritual. And I just call this my morning practice. Basically what this is, is when the moment that you wake up, that you reach over and get your crystal and just do a five to 10 minute meditation. And in this meditation, just ask yourself, what do I want to experience today? Or one of my favorites is, what do I want to believe today? Number two, the evening practice. So this is after the whole day and all of the maybe the, the little itty bitty things that didn't go just right. The evening practice is right before bed, taking your crystal, uniting with nature, even if it's pitch dark outside and you don't feel very united with nature inside your house, you're going to take that crystal and you're going to ask yourself, what can I cleanse at this moment and feel renewed? How can I do that? So with both of these practices, you're asking a simple question. And with the help of your crystal and centering yourself, you're going to get the answers. And you're going to be able to change your everyday life just by doing that. You see, the tendency with us is that we typically want to take our crystal and go do something. You know, we want to go work on somebody, work, work on our animals, work on our spouse, work on our, our friends or our clients. But the most important aspect of creating a connection with your crystal and really being able to utilize its power is being able to create a ritual, a habitual process of connecting with your crystal on a daily basis where you are acknowledging that you are the creator and that with the help of nature that you have the ability to uh, create joy and abundance in every area of your life.